Hey guys, I am going to be putting together this uh, monitor stand. This one is the Vivo, V-I-V-O, Vivo V003E. It is a triple monitor desk stand. Um, it was like $57, $59, somewhere around there um, to buy it. So what I want to do is, I'm going to open the box for you right now. I've got a towel sitting here just so I can lay the pieces on the towel so I don't scratch my table up. And then, um, then I'm going to actually show you how to put it together. Um, but I want to take everything out of the box first. Ceramic blade. It works really nice. So it gets tape stuck to it. There we go. Um, I bought this on Amazon, by the way. Uh, the only videos they really had, the reason I wanted to put this assembly video together is because they really didn't have any, uh, this is how you put it together videos, except maybe by the company. So um, I just want to do my own. So here's the instruction manual. So I'll look at that one. And then you've got a hole. And you've got a box with parts in it. And I'm just going to take the parts out and lay them on the towel. And I'll sort it out later. These will support three VESA monitors. That's how they're mounted on. These are the VESA plates right here. Uh, it's everything in that box. And you got another box. Oh, another hole. This one does not mount to your um, to your table, so it doesn't like screw in place. This one actually um, has a stand, so it, it actually uh, uh, just sits on your desk. It doesn't have to have a hole drilled in your desk. Uh, if I had another desk, which I don't, I've got like a I've got like a conference table desk. That's literally what I'm using. Uh, if I had something else, I would. I, if I had like a solid desk, I would probably go to the trouble of getting the hole drilled and, and have one mounted on the desk. If I had four monitors, uh, if I were to add another monitor to my collection um, and I was running four monitors, I would probably do the hole in the desk. But for three, uh, the review said it worked really well, so, so I don't know. We'll see. So I am going to look through the directions real quick and um, pull the stuff to me and, and start assembling. All right. Looks to be pretty straightforward from just reading the directions. They do give you, they do, you do have to have a Phillips screwdriver. I mean, uh, yeah, Phillips screwdriver. That's the only thing you really need. Uh, they, they give you all the Allen wrenches and stuff and they give you mounting screws for all your VESA stuff. This is what this package does. And it's all labeled and uh, they give you different sizes different, depending on what kind of uh, um, attachment it needs. So that's cool. They give you spacers and it's curved, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, I did take one of these out just to kind of see how it fit. Seems, seems to work pretty good. So. Uh, first thing you want to do is you take your base, which this base is, seems to be pretty solid. It's tilted a little bit. It's metal. Uh, there are some foam like pads on the, on the front edge and the back edge. Uh, not super like padded padded, but it is uh, soft enough to where if you put it on a desk, it's not going to leave a mark. So that's good. Um, so basically what we do is we attach this pole to this bracket with these screws. And I don't know the best way to do this. I'm trying to think of the best angle to get. Yeah, it's pretty stable. Okay, so the next step is to uh, put one of these uh, cable clamps on there. Just slide it on. And then you want to put the, uh, the arm assembly on there. And you're going to, it's got an Allen wrench you tighten up right there. And one thing I noticed uh, when I was doing this, uh, make sure these little uh, points are sticking up on the arms. Uh, they have to be upwards. Don't don't have them pointing down. I'm going to have to loosen that a little bit. Okay. 
again, the, the Allen wrench, but it's the big one this time. Now it says adjust it to the height you need and and uh, tighten it. I don't know what size I need just yet. I need uh, I need to wait until I get the monitors on there. But I'm gonna put it right here and I'll just tighten it up enough to where it won't um, fall off or anything. Yeah. Okay. Next step, pretty straightforward. Um, we're gonna screw on this little adapter, this collar, and it literally just screws on in place. I think my little Allen wrenches are going to have to back up the little Allen screws. It's got like little screws um, in the collar to kind of hold it in place. So just back them up or take them out, one of the two. Yeah. There we go. Put one of them back in, the bottom one back in. And just tighten it up to where it won't, uh, you don't want it to rotate on you. And then we want to uh, put the top one on. And put the little, they call it a grub screw. slide another clamp on these clip the cable clips and then we slide the center one on yep and make sure again it has this one has the hole it doesn't have the pin we're going to put the pin on there um, also another way of, of seeing it is when it, the slide the adapters on they're going to rest on these little pin, these little edges that flip out. Those go to the bottom. I'll just leave it right there for right now. I'm sure I'll have to. I don't know. We'll see. Just enough to tighten it up for right now. So now, basically, you're going to follow the the, uh, the directions for whatever your monitor is, um, and just install the parts. It tells you, like I said, it shows you. I'm going to show you right here. It says for whatever monitor you have, it tells you what screws to use and how to mount them. Um, it also tells you very specifically, like right now, I've got this arm really far forward. You don't want it that far forward. You really want it to be back here somewhere. Um, because you really don't want it to be really far forward of the front feet of the monitor stand. You want it to be kind of even with the feet or um, you know, there about. I really want to bend this part. There we go. It's just really tight. There we go. So anyway, I'm going to uh, um, get my monitors and um, start hooking the Vesta tags on, plates on. I'll show you one of them, but then uh, I'll show you on one of them. Arrow, my, the newest one I have, and that's the one that's gonna go over here, maybe over there, I don't know. 
Um, but I'll put that one on and I'll just uh, be back. All right, so this is my new monitor. Um, the top is up here towards you, the bottom is down here. So what I want to do is this uh, vessel plate, I want to install it with this little flat piece right here. I don't know if you can see it, that's right here. Uh, that's going to go towards the top. It's going to be up there. So when I slide it down, it's going to slide in and stop on that stop right there. So uh, they, the, this particular monitor actually had screws that came with it. Make sure there's no washers. No. Uh, it had screws with it, so I'm just going to reuse, I'm just going to use the same screws that came out of it. I'm not going to put washers or anything on it. Um, it didn't indicate it needed washers. If the holes don't look like they line up well, I might put washers on there, but I think they're fine. Yeah. And I'm just going to push the plate upwards, like oh, towards the top. That way when the weight settles, it won't be pushing the plate, um, you know, won't have anywhere to go. Because the weight's gonna be pulling down, I want the plate to go up. Loosen them all. Slide the plate all the way up, like grab it and pull it, and then tighten them really good. Yeah, that's it for that one. I've got two other monitors. Unfortunately, they're in use right now, so I can't really do anything with them, but I will get them. I'm basically going to follow the same procedure. I have to take the, the um, stand off and put the plate on the back, and then, uh, yeah, it just sits, sits right there. It looks like it's going to slide uh, right in there. Uh, yeah, should just slide right in there. So, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll probably won't show you the other two monitors. They go on exactly the same way, but once I get those monitors out of the way and everything cleared off the desk where I can put the stand on the desk, um, I'll be back to show you how this, how they all mount on there, um, on the stand. All right, got my stand up on the desk. I've got all the mounting brackets on the back of the monitor. So I'm just going to, okay, I put spacers on them. It definitely raised it up, um, at least even if not further out than what it was. So now it should go right on there. Oh yeah, no, not even any problems with it. And I haven't, some people were complaining in the reviews on Amazon that it was falling over and they were hard to, to manipulate. You see it, it's right here. I mean, I'm not having any problems at all. It's not, not falling over or anything. Maybe if you tried to put the top one on first, it might. But um, I don't know, I'm, like I said, I haven't had any issues at all. So put that on there. It only goes on one direction, so. Tighten the screw up. And I should be able to turn this now. I say that as I can't turn it. It's it's a tilt adjustment is what it is. Yeah. I don't know why you'd need to tilt it for because it bends on its own anyway. So anyway, that's that one. And then let me get the other monitor real quick and It's going to go on here. And again, I put spacers on this one as well. Yeah, light. Wow, a light. Isn't that impressive? You can actually see what's going on. Now, I did um, play around with these before I'm doing this. To make sure that the height was where I wanted it, and it is, so that's good. And I'm also going to take my Allen wrench and just run grab it real quick. The big Allen wrench, I want to make sure that these are really good and tight. Because I don't want it sliding down. That's for sure. Okay, it's good and tight. So I've got tilt. I've got movement side to side, I've got tilt, I've got rotation. 
you know, I can pretty much put them where I want to. Um, yeah, just like that. So those are good. I'm going to I'm going to get that one. I'm going to have to probably drop that down because my monitor is not that, that thick. Uh, let me adjust this to where I get the right height and I'll be back. Okay, so the top one, um, I'm going to try to get it in here. I'm going to get my big head out of the way. Take it? Yeah. It's not falling off, so I'm assuming I got it. And then this one gets this thumb screw in the top. Just to hold it in place. So that's it. That's what it looks like. And I will probably turn mine more this way. Yeah, might scoot it over a little bit to have this one more right in front of me. But um, you know, that's just a matter of moving around, getting them situated where I want. I still have to run all the cables and stuff, and I may come back and just show you the cabling uh, once I get done. All right, so here are the monitors all set up, all running. Uh, the two bottom ones are on one computer, the top one's on another computer, my old computer, but uh, it doesn't matter to you because you're just care about the stand. But the stand went together really easily, get them uh, aligned was pretty good. Um, they're pretty stable, they don't they don't shift around or move or anything like that. I, they're pretty easy to move, that's what I like about it. So I can adjust the tilt and the turn side to side pretty easily. So I like it, I think it's a good kit, it's very sturdy. I didn't have any problems with it falling over like some people said they did in the reviews on Amazon. Uh, I didn't have any issues at all. As long as you don't pull them too far forward um, past the little uh, bumps on the, the legs of the stand, as long as you don't pull it too far forward of those, it's fine. It works perfectly fine and just keep everything balanced. So yeah, I like it. I would definitely recommend you get it if you need a three um, monitor stand that is self-standing. Self